The um, thought, idea, dream of building an Ignatian Retreat Center is something that evolved over a long period of time. It's kind of a daunting thought. It's a, it's a big job. I knew it was going to require a talented team of executives in order to be able to uh, pull it off as well as uh, is going to be necessary. I think we got some of the best people that we could find to do it. So one of the first people that I selected to help me build the Cloisters on the Platte was Kurt Halverson. Kurt is more than a good manager. He's trained as an accountant and has been the lead in uh, getting all the construction done. We have a number of architects, a number of uh, general contractors, we have many subcontractors. Sometimes there's a few hundred people on the construction site at one time, so it is a really a large project, but Kurt has a, a native talent for managing things. This project is very unique because the sort of compilation of all these different talent pools and all these different perspectives coming together in one unique vision. I think uh, leveraging all of their individual skill sets and all of the individual talents that they have is really what makes this project unique and really what makes it successful. At the end of the day when the retreat is complete and when the Cloisters on the Platte is, is open, I think the greatest pride that I would take in it is not only fulfilling Mr. Ricketts' vision for him and his legacy, but also to uh, feel like I was part of something that I was truly called to do as uh, part of my faith walk personally. It's a great opportunity. It's, uh, it's truly got a number of variables associated with it, and quite honestly, it's a lot of fun. The uh, second person that uh, I selected for the executive team was Judy Tamasia. Judy had worked for the uh, diocese for a good part of her career and knew all of the people, all of the uh, operations, and could help us a great deal. Having Judy know and understand how the diocese works and who all the players are has been uh, instrumental and probably more important to me than I originally thought when I asked her if she would help us. That will be the, the foundation upon which we build a network of people who are going to really kind of form this community of Cloisters on the Platte. Well, I think the Cloisters on the Platte obviously is going to be an extremely beautiful place. The facilities will be second to none. But I really hope the highlight for them when they come will be the retreat itself. The third person I'd like to talk about is a person who has been trained as an attorney, but uh, whose real calling in life is to do land architecture and land design, and that's uh, Brad Schwer. Brad has a passion for the work that he's doing, not only because of his love for land design and land architecture, but also from a spiritual aspect. Having a landscape design that uh, is beautiful is very, very important. It will, I think, have a, a great effect on the spiritual objective of why people are there. There's 930 acres of God's creation out here. Anything that any of us have done is nothing other than perhaps taking care of it for him, um, making it accessible to the retreatants. This is an important project. I'm convinced my true calling wasn't 30 years of law practice. Um, I'm participating in my real calling right now. The last person that is on this executive team is uh, Alfred Levitt. Alfred's just very smart and understands the law, understands how I want to affect my dreams so he can take the aspects of what's necessary to make a foundation, how the foundation has to work, and give me good advice on leading me in the direction where I want to be. I rely on him a, a great deal. The way the Cloisters on the Platte has come together is different from how Ignatian retreats have been done in the past, and in fact there haven't been new retreat facilities developed in a long time, and that reflects, I think, a change in how our society is working. And the fact that Mr. Ricketts saw that need to make this thing happen, I think could be a new model for how retreats, both here and potentially elsewhere, what that program looks like if it's gonna be successful, and we're going to preserve this critically important element of spiritualism in our lives. So I picked the people to be on this executive team 
relative to talent and skill rather than their religion. And so right from the beginning, we've had an ecumenical feeling to what we're doing here. And that really kind of has passed out of the executive team into the people that are building the cloisters on the plan. A number of people have come up to me and told me that they're proud of being selected to build this uh, retreat facility and feel complimented by working on such a special project. I get a lot of joy uh, knowing that uh, this is something that will have an effect on people for the benefit of their life. So it's a uh, really uh, uh, something that I find very pleasurable to do.